But First Minister of State for Transport Josephine Teo says the Land Transport Authority will not hesitate to penalise SMRT following the second security breach at its train depot. She said a zero-tolerance attitude must be adopted and that any breach is one too many. SMRT has also been asked to give a full account to the police and LTA. Mrs Teo was speaking to reporters on the sidelines of a joint emergency exercise at the Circle Line's yet-to-be-open stations. It's the morning peak hour and more than 400 passengers are packed on a train heading between One North and Bona Vista stations. A fire breaks out and smoke starts to fill the air. Help arrives within minutes. Commuters are evacuated while casualties are attended to promptly. It's all part of a simulated exercise to test the ability of the CCL Operations Control Centre and emergency personnel to manage a crisis situation efficiently. Minister of State for Transport Josephine Teo said such scenarios stress the importance of being prepared. This mindset must be reinforced given the recent intrusion at Bishan Depot where a train was vandalised with graffiti. Like uh, many Singaporeans, I was uh, very disturbed uh, by the security breach at uh, SMRT's uh, Bishan Depot. Uh, although no one was hurt, uh, it is a very serious incident which should not have happened. Things that have to do with uh, human error can always have been prevented. SMRT said the intrusion went undetected as CCTV recordings revealed that security guards did not carry out nighttime patrols near the fences as required. The operator was slapped with the maximum fine of $50,000 after a similar incident took place at Changi Depot in May last year. It was also asked to beef up security as recommended by the Public Transport Security Committee. But works at Changi Depot have been delayed, while works at Bishan Depot are slated to begin only this month. When asked if the Land Transport Authority should impose a specific timeline on SMRT to complete all the security recommendations, Mrs. Steele said she expects SMRT to fill up any gaps in security immediately. And after investigations are over, authorities will decide on the next course of action. Presidential